Have you considered that you believe you are Mary Magdalene because of spirit influence? You claim that you are Mary Magdalene. Is it possible that you are channeling another spirit who claims she is Mary Magdalene? And are you attributing that connection to your identity? Okay. This is a common question that I've received over the years. And the answer is yes. I have considered that maybe a spirit is influencing me into believing that I'm someone that I'm not. Um, maybe that uh, the experiences that I was having somehow could be attributed to a spirit. I've certainly considered that. I've resolved that it's not true for a number of reasons. The first is probably that I am a spirit medium yeah. and I can differentiate between the, the emotions of a spirit and my own emotions. And as we've discussed in previous questions, yeah. a lot of my knowledge of who I am comes from the experience of my emotions, the allowance of my emotions and my memories associated with them. So I've had these experiences that are emotional. I also have this deep sense that I am Mary Magdalene. So I've considered, could a spirit be giving me these emotions or this sense in some way? So the first thing was that I, that I have come to have a very strong sense of when I'm feeling my own emotions and when I'm feeling a spirit's emotions. And to, just for the benefit of the audience, it is very common for spirits to influence people on earth, yeah. especially in certain situations when we don't want to feel a feeling of fear or sadness. Sometimes a spirit can come and influence us for a matter of minutes into a state of rage or shut down or something. So that does happen and that has happened to me. And I do understand the difference between what it's like to have the feeling of the influence of a spirit and the a spirit's emotions and my own experience. Yeah. So that's probably the first, the first part of the answer, if you like. I've also looked at things from a more, if you like, a more pragmatic or logical perspective because I've thought, well, you know, maybe I'm not such a foolproof... Um, I've had to come to a sense of surety about these things inside of myself through experience, but, you know, maybe that's not really satisfactory enough. Because, well, as I've said earlier, I was really shopping for reasons yeah. why maybe I wasn't Mary Magdalene. It's really double proof. Yes, double proof. <laughs> so I looked at the idea that, well, if a spirit did come and overcloak me, then people would have observed a very rapid change in my persona. I would have been like Mary Luck one day and then suddenly completely different and full of surety about who I am. This is yeah. what we see with other people who become overcloaked and believe that they're someone else. There's, there's often a rapid and immediate and dramatic change in their personality in the way that they behave and the things that they say and that they do. And for me, we haven't seen that. No. Uh, that hasn't happened. It's only been through me developing more and more humility that I think that people are able to observe now some growth in me and some changes in my demeanour that are actually the result of me growing in humility and some truth and some love. And so there's a gradual process occurring before people's eyes and not an immediate one. And there's also been this aspect of me trying to rationalise my way out of what I already believe to be true, which is not very common for people who are overcloaked. Yeah. Usually they gain surety and that's it. And they sort of remain this static person while that spirit is with them. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> the other thing probably within that also is that if I was just mm. having a lot of emotional experiences that were not my own but from a spirit, then because of the way the soul is constructed, that wouldn't help the spirit to grow and it wouldn't no. help me to grow. Yeah. Uh, because each person has to experience and release emotions from themselves, for themselves, for them to be free of them and to grow. If I was in some kind of a relationship with a spirit um, and they were giving me emotions or experiences, then um, I wouldn't be resolving things, and I am resolving things. We are seeing a growth in me 
even be it sometimes quite gradual and slow, <laughs> there are changes happening. And I also feel more connected to myself and more connected to God when I experience myself and my emotions. And that wouldn't be able to occur if it was a spirit with me. Yep. And I suppose maybe to expand on this even further, if I was being influenced by a spirit who was in a low condition of love in the spirit world, and they wanted some attention or glory or power or they wanted to avoid themselves in some way by influencing me here on earth to say and believe that I'm Mary Magdalene. Then because of the way the different laws of God operate upon my soul and that spirit's soul, you would actually be seeing a degradation in my condition and their condition. And so if they were influencing me and degrading in condition, you would actually be seeing someone who was becoming more nasty, more narcissistic, yeah. more selfish, more unhappy. And I actually think we're seeing the, the reverse. I can vouch that we're seeing the reverse. <laughs> um, and probably the last possibility is if I was being, if I wasn't Mary Magdalene and I was being influenced by a spirit who is Mary Magdalene, for if that's a hypothetical idea, then, and that Mary Magdalene is in a high condition of love, yeah and they came along and influenced me perhaps to do some good or something in the world, as soon as they saw that I was saying that I was Mary Magdalene and I wasn't, then they would cease their influence of me. So I feel very confident mm. <laughs> that, that that exhausts all the possibilities for how a spirit could be influencing me. And it also shows that it can't really be the case. There's also the aspect that when I'm allowing myself and allowing my memories, I feel in connection with God. When I suppress those things, I don't feel in connection with God. And when I allow them, I do. And for me, that's probably the biggest proof that a spirit is not involved in this experience for me. Because God wouldn't enter into an yeah. experience where a spirit is influencing someone to believe something that's not true. Because the way we connect with God is through truth really through an acceptance or an allowance of truth in that moment and so me having this experience and experiencing more and more of God the more and more I allow tells me definitively that it's not a spirit influenced experience. Yeah.